Hi, I'm Shreya from Team Ready, Set, Grow. Today I'm going to explain the water chemistry system in detail. Our project involves growing plants with water and nutrients from fish waste. In the aquaponic setting, plants require a pH to be between 5.5 and 7.5, while fish like the water to be between 6.5 to 7.5. The plants also require the nitrogen cycle to be active. pH is the concentration of hydrogen ions. It's measured on a scale from 0 to 14. Anything below 7 is considered acidic, and everything above 7 is considered basic. 7 itself is neutral. Our system maintains a pH of 6.5, so it's safe for both the plants and the fish. The nitrogen cycle is very important. It converts fish waste into important nutrients for the plants. This happens when the ammonia in the fish waste is converted to nitrites, then nitrate by bacteria. The nitrates are then taken in by the roots plants as nitrogen. This element is a key part of photos photosynthesis, so it's crucial that the plants have enough of it. To keep both the fish and plants healthy, I monitor pH, ammonia, nitrites, and nitrate. pH is measured with a pH sensor, which is connected to analog input pin A0 on the Arduino. The sensor is fully submerged in the water tank and reports the pH value continuously. When the pH value changes, the system runs peristaltic pumps connected to reservoirs of acid and base to pump a tiny bit of the liquid into the tank to adjust the pH. The peristaltic pumps are connected to an Adafruit motor shield, which is connected to the Arduino through an I2C connection. So the program running in the Arduino runs the, peris runs the peristaltic pumps for a few seconds to pump in precise amounts of fluid. To measure ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, we collect water in a test tube and add chemicals to it. We then check the color of the solution using an ITC color sensor. The color sensor reads the red, green, blue, clear, temperature, and luminosity values. Using these six values, our program determines the exact color of the solution and the concentration of ammonia, nitrites, or nitrates. Our system displays the color on a dial using an RC servo motor. That motor is connected to the Adafruit motor shield, which is then connected to, to the Arduino. The water chemistry system receives a signal from the camera system if it identifies a plant or a fish disease. Based on the message, the water chemistry system pumps the necessary medicine using the peristaltic pumps. Currently, we can treat plant disease called intervenal chondritis and a fish disease called ick. In the future, we can add medicines for many other diseases using the same method.